uh, Fred Nunda is in custody for a case that he has been charged with, a case of murder. He has been in custody for a very long time now. He has been denied bail on two occasions. But today we came to court to make an application so that he can be granted bond once again. All the other cases that uh, had been indicated before that he had absconded or had not settled have all been settled. There is no other case existing right now in court. Such that the only case that is present is this one. He had been denied bail basically on the basis that uh, he had other cases and he had absconded. Now that those cases do not exist, we are coming back to this court to request whether they can grant him bond. We are trying to say that the circumstances have changed. We are trying to say that his health is also not good. We are also trying to say that he has a constitutional right to, to bail. More so because we, are, we believe that the, the state, in this particular instance, is acting in bad faith. Why am I saying that? Ever since he had been in custody, ever since the first time he had been denied bail, the court has always insisted that we be given statements of witnesses. We have not been given statements and the hearing starts next week on 6th. So what are they doing basically? Denying us a constitutional right to prepare in time. They are going to try and ambush us. That's why we are insisting that we get those statements by today. Some of us are too experienced to be denied with this kind of sharp practice or this kind of attitude and ambush. Some of us are too experienced for that. And even if you gave me a statement a minute before the hearing, I will still stand and do the case. So let them not think that that is what is going to help them. But in the meantime, as we wait for the court, since we cannot interfere and argue that application here, we want the police officer from the state to act in good faith, now that the person is in custody. You can't keep on punishing somebody because you have some political inclination. This is totally a political thing. If they are going to use politics as a particular line to uh, injure somebody and uh, frustrate somebody, then we are not following the law. Then we are not doing the right thing. Then how different are you from the person you are trying to charge? At least him, he has denied the charge. You are not denying it. You are continuing denying us our right. So we are insisting. They give us those statements. We prepare for the case. Whether we have the bail or not, we shall proceed with the matter and finish it as fast as possible. Yes. This is a case that is just, uh, we, we know for a fact that witnesses have been called to change their statements. Witnesses have been called and coached to change their statements and alter their statements. But an old cat like me, or do I say an old dog like me? <laughs> Those are things I have seen. You will only see a witness when you know he's lying and he's changing his story. We will see. You see through them. Especially if you are coached, you can never stand in that dock and maintain the kind of pressure I can give them. <laughs> Watch our budget. That's all I can say for now. No, no, uh, right now the application that we filed, which was filed on 31st of October, you can see it has taken a long time. Until now, this is January. We are also going on, uh, towards the end of January. We, the application has been filed, but you see the state was even trying to deny that they had not been served. Then we are able to show them in court that you actually received the application and that uh, you signed for it. So when they ask for time, you can see it's just a tactic. That does not stop us from asking from going on with the application. That is why I told them that clearly you have no other reason for us not to proceed with this application. Because if you are saying you are not served, you have been served. As, fast as, as, as far back as 1st of November. A day after the application was made on 31st, and by 1st of November they had been served. A day later, we are diligent enough, we are respectful enough, we are not ambushing them. But they can't come and do this rubbish that they are doing here. Okay, another question besides the, to this case, yes. you are being a, a politician. Yes. Can you give a comment, a general comment on the political terms? No, the, uh, uh, let me say that there is tension, of course. The issue that uh, we are having, maybe the fights between our leaders and... Uh, remember, I'm not a leader. 
I am not even an honorable member of parliament. I am just this CTC lawyer who is available here right now. People might consider me for anything else, but for the time being, our leaders are the ones who are fighting. It is not good for the running of business. It's not business as usual. Why? There's too much tension. There are too much political overtones and undertones. We need to avoid those ones for the time, from the moment. If business has to go on, peace must reign. If the law must then prevail, peace must reign. We can't have jungle law and expect that uh, things proceed. And politics, as long as it's bad politics, then what happens? It's the people who suffer. Look at this particular case from, for the moment. It's not because of anything else. It's bad politics and somebody's suffering. So we need to really change our attitude about things. But most of all, the law must be obeyed. That's the first and foremost thing. Thank, thank you. you, thank you.